Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, how's everybody doing today? It is 10.30 a.m. here, Tuesday morning, and um, Thrifty Kniffy made a um, video last night. Um, he had bought a Roper, a Roper Stockman. And, um, I really like these Roper Stockmans. Now, I got mine quite a few years ago. Um, and I did a little bit of fooling around with them. And that 1075 Carbon, I tried to put a patina on one of them. And, uh, there's a lot of things you could do with these knives, you know, um, because you have options because the steel you know whether you want to do a patina on them or whatever you want to do you could you got that option there so um i was so impressed with these roper knives as so was he um i went ahead and um i bought all three of them at the time because like he said the value was there like 20 something bucks you can't beat it but i do have one um gripe and it's a pretty big gripe, you know what I mean? This would be the perfect Stockman. As a matter of fact, I am the hugest Stockman. I mean, I love Stockmans. As a matter of fact, I have a Stockman on order right now. I'm waiting to come in. Um, this will be the perfect Stockman, but there's only one problem with it, and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, I just wanted to show you quickly what we're looking at here. This is, I think they used to call this the orange sunburst or something like that. Uh, this is the one that I uh, did the patina on. Um, you can see that. Now it does, it does need to get dipped again. I didn't really take my time with it. I was rushing and I never got back to doing it. Um, but you can really get a nice patina uh, on these, um, on these blades with this 1075, open them up and show you, but there's only one problem that kills it for me. Like I keep on mentioning, um, the, um, now I don't know if he has, if it's the same way on his, uh, because mine is in old, older pieces. It has very lazy half stops very lazy um the action is uh the action is not so good at all let's uh see if i could show you what i'm referring to quickly um like when you open it there it's in the open position then you go to the half and that's what you got you put it in the half and it's very, very lazy. Um, every single one of the blades. Uh, very poor action. Um, and I worked them and worked them and worked them. You could see this one doesn't even feel like it's going into the half. It doesn't even... I don't even know if that's a half stop or... It's not very good. Um, so that would be, um, my only, uh, gripe. You can see I'll do this one. It just sits there and then it's kind of, then you kind of push it and it gets, see, it's like mushy in certain spots and it's, it's, it's trying to find, it seems like it's trying to find a half spot, a half stop. It's trying to find the location where. It wants to sit. You, you understand? You see what I'm talking about? But it's very, very um, sluggish. The closing's good. You know what I mean? It rot. You know what I mean? Once you get past that point, it it, it closes fine. You could see this. Watch. The closing's great. It's just uh, going into the half stops. Just isn't. Uh, uh, so good. The action is not so good, but 
the look of these things, it's the look with these scalloped, um, the color of it and the scalloped scales. This is basically what really, really steals the show. You know what I mean? Because the, um, the scales, they look so gosh darn good. You know what I mean? You can't beat it. You know what I mean? You look at this and you're like, wow, that is really, that is a cool knife. That's a nice looking knife, right? Then you got this, uh, you know, this like little fake kind of uh, decorative rope uh, uh, bolster there. You know what I mean? And they try and doctor it up. They try and make it look as fancy as they can with it. You know what I mean? Fit and finish is quite good on it. You know? So I have no problem with the fit and finish. Um, the blade. I like the blade on the spear point blade. Really, really uh, nice. Nice blade. The only thing is. Um, if they could have only got the action better on the half stops. And they're, you know, they weren't so sluggish and, and just like, watch. It just sits there, you know, it just, you put it in there and it just sits. And then sometimes it's got detent lash, like the blades, uh, they got, you, they got, um, movement back and forth movement. So you got, uh, not only do you have bad, um, half stops, but you got some detent lash too in the blades. That's that's not so good. But hey, like like he said, Thrifty said, it's 20 bucks, you know what I mean? It's a $20 bill and you can't beat it. You know what I mean? You're, you you can't really argue the fact um of the of these knives, but they are they are quite they are quite good. Here's the black one. Really nice looking. Look how nice that black one is. Satin. This goes back to satin again. I only did the one patina in that one, but you see the nice satin blades on it. Really nice uh, looking blades, but the action is just uh, very, very mushy on uh, all these. So I just wanted to give you a look at the black one. And mostly I wanted to give you a look at this micarta one. This micarta one is just crazy. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful that micarta is. That's you that's a that's a cool piece, that black, and it matches so beautifully. And man, I saw that and I was like, ha ha, there's no way. And I couldn't decide um out of the three which one I wanted. I couldn't decide because I liked them all. And I was like, oh man, for 20 bucks, I was like, this I'm gonna get all three of them. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I wanted to really show you this micarta one. I don't know if he's seen this one on the website or wherever he was looking, but, um, I don't know if they're still available or what. I mean, I got these, like I said, I got these quite a few years ago, you know, and, um, but I just wanted to show you the, uh, that card is really nice. It's a good one. It's a nice knife, but it is what it is with the half stops and the detent lash. Like I said, you know, I tried to flush it uh, with um, oil and see it, see it's got, see the movement on it. It'll stop right there. Then it goes right there to there, there to there. That's a lot of, that's a lot of play in that blade. You can see it. That's a lot of play in that blade. Quite, quite a bit of play in that blade. So, if it didn't have that, you'd have a home run here. But, nevertheless, still a good carry piece for 20 bucks. It's not going to hurt you in the pocket. It's not going to affect anything, really. It's ju You just know it's there, you know what I mean? It's just one of those things that's just, you know it's there. And that's, that's, the, that's the bummer, you know what I mean? Does, is it going to bother the knife, and is it going to bother the... Um, the, uh, you know, is it going to affect anything? Not really, not really. But, um, like I said, it's just, you know, it's there. 
Anyway, uh, Thrifty, if you see this video, uh, let me know what's going on. Let me know if yours has uh, lazy uh, half stops and detent lash. I'm just curious about that. Um, uh, drop me a line. All right, guys. Uh, be good. Be well. Be safe. We'll talk to you guys soon. Um, be careful out there. All right, guys. Stay well.